Hello world, thanks for all your comments on this series of planets on the angles. I'm really enjoying doing, doing them and they're making me think deep and, and realise a few things myself. Um, I must remember to interspace them with proper astrology because I realise they're not for everybody. Um, in that light, here's, a, here's the, perhaps the hardest one of all. Having the moon on the angles, because the moon is so transient. It goes for every sign in two, each sign in two and a half days. And it's all very well to say, oh, I've got the moon on the ascendant in such and such a sign. But was it full moon? Is it new moon? Is it quarter moon? Because all of these have different influences. Certainly the moon rules uh, the cycles and the rhythms of our life. It's the ebb and flow, hence its association with cancer and mood, sensation, intuition, feeling, and one's emotive cause. It's obviously the most sensitive of planets. It's where you are at your most vulnerable, but also at your most kindest. It's the feminine in us all, regardless of the sign. And obviously a strong moon in Aries with uh, a trine or opposition to Jupiter is going to be much more feisty and powerful if it's on the ascendant than a sort of gentle moon in Pisces or Capricorn that's just got a sextile to Venus or Neptune. So you have to remember the capacity for the moon's sensitivity. But if the moon is rising, moon on the ascendant is one of, in my opinion, one of the very hardest aspects in astrology. It overlays the ascendant with the gushing floodedness of the moon. And it makes people with moon on the ascendant, moon rising, it's difficult for them to separate themselves and be objective and detached and impersonal and get away from their emotional states. It's very hard for them to not attach a sense of feeling to every encounter they meet, they have, every experience that, that occurs to them. There's always this sense of deep personal intimacy with the moon on the ascendant but to a certain extent it makes these people an open book although in other people's eyes it can create either the capacity for almost being absorbed or consumed by the moon on the ascendant person or it can also and or it can sometimes create the external impression of someone who's actually a bit of a, a, a an emotional wreck because they can't help but express their emotions and opinions moon on the ascendant people need baths more than showers, need to drink lots of water, need to get time on their own every day for 10 minutes, and need to have one or two close friends around them who they can ask for objective and detached and honest opinions. Moon opposite the Ascendant is in a much easier place. There can be the, again, the emotional obsessive and compulsiveness uh, in, in forms of attachment or attraction towards other individuals or attracting that towards oneself. Although normally for something like this there needs to be outer planetary influence as well from Uranus, Neptune or Pluto. But the Moon on the descendant on the relationship point does bring the capacity for very intense emotional encounters with others. Normally quite healthy but again it depends on a the sign the moon is in and especially more so the aspects that are being made to the moon for example a moon on the descendant uh conjunct jupiter or sextile mercury or the sun is going to be really good relationship material whereas a moon on the descendant square mars or square uranus strongly is going to be much more autonomous and independent within their relationships Moon on the midheaven is a difficult position also because the moon likes nothing more than being at home, hidden away in the background, working underground with the feelings and emotions. But the midheaven deals with public image, its status and profile and visibility. So the moon on the midheaven either has real difficulty in showing their feelings or emotions in the world and they become quite blocked and stultified, or they have a career which is about caring, i.e. a headmaster, headmistress, matron, nurse, doctor, someone who brings compassion, feeling and emotion into the world. And then there's the moon on the IC. 
powerful place on the point of the home, perhaps the strongest point in the sky. If you've got the moon on the IC, there will always be an irrational attachment to home, family, and probably mummy. But at the same time, it does give the capacity to constantly be able to reach out and put arms around people, to be able to cuddle, hug, to be able to make people feel safe and, to, and for, for the individual themselves to always be able to find themselves a secure home. Moon on the IC, great position. Okay, folks, there you go. So, uh, catch you later. Bye.